guys, welcome back. This is By the Book, and we're your married relationship coaches. I'm Sint. I'm Sam. And today, we're talking briefly with you guys. Want to get some opinions and thoughts about the Kiki Palmer situation. If you have not heard, she announced on Saturday Night Live uh, this past weekend that she and her boyfriend, Darius Jackson, are expecting a child. She is uh, unmarried. Um, but the two of them, I believe, live together. They've been together or dating or, I don't know, since May of 2021. At least a year. Yeah, or, yeah, roughly about that amount of time. Mm-hmm. And people have been on social media kind of attacking, not her per se, but attacking people for celebrating her pregnancy, like, are we getting this out of order? Should we be celebrating single motherhood? Are we doing this um, as a society, you know, mm-hmm. as America? Are we doing this as a subset of the society, as in Black America? And is this, like, the image that we want to put forth, mm-hmm. I guess, from a celebrity who, I guess, everybody looks at, like, hey, she's beautiful, she's successful, she yeah. could be married if she wants to be married. Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. But um, it's just interesting to me, to us, I guess, both, that the celebration of her pregnancy is is treated so negatively. So I'm wondering what you guys think about that, you know, if, if we're getting it right, if we're getting it wrong. Just thoughts. Hmm. Well, um, as many of you already know, um, I have a Bible background. I'm a preacher. And so I'm always going to be in support of biblical principle and Christian values. And so I am going to support uh, a husband and a wife coming together and then starting a family. That's what I'm going to uh, support wholeheartedly. Now, do I know things happen? Do I know uh, accidents happen? Do I know that many people do not? Right. uh, uh, um, Wait. Hmm? Wait, they don't. Yes, wait. <laughs> they don't wait. Yes, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm very aware of that. Um, but I still, I have to put forth what God is asking for us uh, before I kind of like start to deal with um, our shortcomings or, or where we fall short of what God is asking for us. And so, yes, He's asking for us to to be married and to wait until marriage. Yes, that's what He's asking for, and so that should be our number one goal, and that's what we should really really strive for but i do understand that here in our society mm-hmm. and primarily right now what we're talking about is uh, our coach cult- our culture mm-hmm. and um, there is a, 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 a i don't know if it's a push but it's definitely a trend uh to where um we are having a lot of single parents going on yeah and, and it's been a trend for quite some time yeah. this ain't new so yeah, it's not <laughs> Is not so. I would say just like you just said, mm-hmm. is 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 out of order from God's divine plan. Mm-hmm. And so, how can we get it back in order? That's my thing. How can we get things back in order? That's I don't know. I mean, I don't know that we do. And I think we have to remember as much as we are morally, spiritually um, driven, mm-hmm. Christian faith driven. Uh, everybody isn't. You know, that's not everybody's position yeah. and that's, and that's fair. And that's something that at least I feel like has to be respected as well. So people may not feel the compulsion to be married and do things in a way that, that we think are, are correct. Yes. So with that in mind, you know, there's reasons maybe that she doesn't want to wait or didn't want to wait. Mm. One of which, in case you guys didn't know, she suffered with PCOS for probably her entire adult life. I mean, she's only 29, but it's a significant condition that makes it very difficult for a lot of women to conceive. And so if this is something that she's been concerned about or she feels like, hey, I want to be able to start a family, I better try sooner rather than later, Mm -hmm. but she's not in the headspace or whatever space to decide that she wants to get married at this point, you know, is it okay for her to make that choice? Hey, I want to be able to have a child at some point in my life. And I know it may be difficult for me. Yeah, Maybe 29 is the right time for me to start trying this. Mm-hmm. I get that. 
I do. I personally know people who suffer from PCOS. So I, I do. I, I get her struggle. Um, and I get why that may have made her want to do that before getting married. And that's assuming that she wants to get married at all. Mm. Maybe she doesn't want to get married ever. Maybe mm-hmm. she doesn't want to get married to him. You know, we have to realize they haven't been together that long. True. You know, a lot of people spend decades together <laughs> yeah. and they still don't get married. So with them having a year in to this relationship, you know, maybe she's just not ready to marry him or maybe she knows she doesn't want to. Mm. Um, so do you think that's kind of like more of a trend now, too, that women don't want to be married? I mean, because yeah, me coming up, uh, it seemed like almost all the women wanted to be married, you know, mm-hmm. and, you know, that, that, that I was experiencing, you know, trying to have a relationship with or whatever. It seemed mm-hmm. like they all wanted to be married. And so are you, and, but it was the men that didn't want to get married, yeah. you know, so are you, are you kind of suggesting or seeing that uh, the trend is now that women don't want to be married? Yeah, I, I wouldn't say in larger numbers than men is that the case, mm-hmm. but in larger numbers than we may have grown up with. Mm-hmm. I think that's the case. Now, is that a function of the men's mentality kind of wearing women down to where they know, okay, my prospects of getting married may be low, so maybe I need to change my goals so that they're attainable? Maybe. Mm-hmm. Or maybe just men have their their mindset in terms of like, Marriage not being that important, marriage not being that valuable, um, marriage bringing the government into my relationship, you know, mm. all kinds of nonsense that, yeah. <laughs> that men spew. But maybe that mindset is also, you know, wearing off on to women to where they believe it. They think that too. They've adopted that very same They've mindset. Adopted the mindset that men kind of have. Mm-hmm. Okay. And mm. and don't see it as valuable. And then add to that for Kiki in particular. She is probably more financially stable than he is. Yeah. Um, she's obviously the bigger name, the bigger star. He is, I hadn't even heard of him before this whole yeah, situation because it's not like I follow them as a couple at all. So, you know, he, I think, is a former college athlete and maybe just now starting to get into potentially acting. So she's obviously, like I said, the bigger star surely the bigger breadwinner Mm -hmm. and um financially for her it may not make sense Mm. for her to to marry him maybe she sees that as as a detriment to her own personal wealth Mm -hmm. and so like when i hear that i definitely hear more of a contract mentality than a Mm -hmm. than a covet covenant uh, covenant Mm -hmm. uh, um mentality so uh it's 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 a lot to kind of like sift through you know, when, when we talking about these type of situations within our culture, because when I look at it, of course you have the, the, um, the, the, the mindset of when a men basically are kind of like going to say, you know, a woman should be married and all of this different type of mm-hmm. stuff. But then when a Nick Cannon does it, please don't get me started no one on says, him. No one that's says That's what I anything. was just going to say. Yes. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's problematic. That's one of the pushbacks that I've seen on my social media outlets Mm -hmm. is like, where is the outrage? Where's the same outrage for Nick Cannon? And people bring Nick Cannon Mm -hmm. up, but I see more jokes and memes about Nick Cannon. I'm not really seeing it like, why are people celebrating single fatherhood? Why are people celebrating a man who has 12 illegitimate children? You know, you're not seeing that type of outrage Mm -hmm. um and i feel like it's it's a double standard that can be offensive to women as a whole and single mothers in particular Mm -hmm. and and i think it should be it it is offensive because to be fair from my point of view nick cannon is doing something far worse when you talk about a family unit and what's valuable Mm -hmm. in terms of you know having a mom and a dad under the same roof raising children, yeah. you know, traditionally, you know, if that's the goal to be strive to, you know, for us to strive to, yeah. Nick can't even do it. Mm-hmm. He's got 12 kids spread mm-hmm. all over the place. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. You know, God only knows where. He can't, I don't care how much money he has. Yeah. I don't care how much he can pay in child support or what schools he can afford to send them to. He can't be a dad in those households to each and every one of those kids yeah. every single day or most days. Yeah. Like he would need to be, yeah. in my opinion. At least Kiki and Darius is Darius, right? <laughs> At least the two of them are together. Just call them DJ. The, at least the two of them are together mm-hmm. and they're in the same household. They can raise this child in a similar fashion mm-hmm. to a married couple. Whereas Nick can't do that. He's just got kids who can look on TV and be like, hey, that's my dad. Yeah. That's crack. <laughs> you know, if we're attacking anybody in this situation, it should definitely be him. Yeah. Well, see, I understand it, but you know what? I, I I would never defend Nick Cannon on all of this. Thank you. Foolishness. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm just gonna say he's nasty. I mean, that's just straight nasty. I mm-hmm. mean, come on, man. Uh, what, what are you doing? But anyway, is one worse than the other one? Yeah, I say that Nick is worse mm-hmm. than, than the other one. But I still go back to say both of them are out of line and yeah. and, and and so and out of order. Mm-hmm. So how do we get back? To putting things back in order because when I look at it objectively, whether if you don't believe in a Christian path or or any of that, can you honestly say that we are healthier with the way we are going with with minimum households as far as families? The family unit has has been dismantled in most mm-hmm. of our households. So, are we healthier? Are are, uh, is our children are they healthier? You know, uh, uh, the, the 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 women who are raising our children are they healthier doing this sing- uh, with uh, with a single thing? Uh, are our men healthier? And I would say, no, I don't think so. I see a lot of women that are stressed. I see a lot of women. Uh, that are on the verge of, of, of nervous breakdowns, <laughs> trying to figure out how they're going to raise and keep these, ki- these kids, but all the, all the same time trying to present strength, you know, mm-hmm. not cry and all of this different type of stuff. And so I see that. I see men running around trying to make stuff happen with all of these different type of women. I don't see the health. And all the while, the children... The children doesn't do not get a strong foundation of a healthy relationship between a man and a woman, a husband and a wife. So where's the family? I don't know. And maybe that's why people feel like the need to attack this situation and attack the celebration or the applauding of it. And I don't think that we want to applaud single motherhood as much as it's just we don't want to shame the single mother either yeah. because in a lot of instances there's not a choice you know a woman is not saying hey this is what i choose now sure you could say well you know she could have not slept with them blah 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 but we know by and large like that's not happening in society yeah and you know women are not necessarily looking to become single mothers although in this instance maybe she was it Possibly. seems like that's something that she planned mm-hmm. but to just across the board make it seem like you know single motherhood is is a scarlet letter um i think we've shied away from that as a society because that certainly is how things used to be yes. you know it used to be more shameful mm-hmm. and I think that places maybe too much of the burden on women and takes the burden away from men. So this is why you're getting so much pushback from women in terms of like the Nick Cannon situation. But it's just like, okay, no, 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 no. You're not going to start doing that to us again where you're shaming the single mothers Mm -hmm. and you're applauding the single dads or the dads that are doing their thing. Yeah. Whatever. So, I mean, I, I think that's just the general feel of women right now it's not about it being morally correct it's not about it really being okay it's not that people are are uh glorifying single motherhood it's just like okay you're pregnant great a pregnancy is a beautiful blessing yeah. you know mm-hmm. and we'll be happy for that we'll be happy for the baby yeah. and we're also not going to shame single mothers as a whole because i think 
that can be a mistake mm. if we're not if we're not applying it equally, yeah. mothers and yeah, fathers. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, I understand that. So, mm-hmm. anyway, guys, we're just sitting here chopping it up together. So we figure we chat with you guys about it. Get your thoughts. Do you think that people are trying to shame her? Trying to shame single mothers? Did you guys get that coming across your social media outlets like the same way that I did? Um, do you compare people like you know Kiki Palmer to Nick Cannon? I don't even think there's a comparison. You know, I don't even think it's close. It's but not. let me know if you got a defense for Nick because he's wild to me. Nasty. It's nasty. <laughs> anyway, we just wanted to chat with you guys. So drop those comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. We'll talk to you all soon. Bye.